And the BBB also says if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. A pint of beer a day may come with a host of health benefits from lowering the risk of heart disease to improving cholesterol. There are a lot of studies that report some impressive perks. In tonight's 10 Brews, Brandon Bates focuses on the health tips and health warning associated with beer. Beer, it's cold, bubbly, and it gives you a buzz. There you are, my dear. And if you've ever had one too many, you know you'll be affected. A lot of the coordination type things in your brain is controlled through the cerebellum. Damage acutely due to alcohol intoxication can relate to that. And chances are you or someone you know enjoys drinking it. What's the name on the tab? And we all know there can be negative side effects. Alcohol can affect uh, any organ system. Liver inflammation, liver failure, acid reflux, it can affect your sleep. So with that being said, I absolutely do drink beer. Why on earth would a doctor drink it? There are some potential benefits. Dr. Burton says many studies show that alcohol in moderation can help avoid type 2 diabetes and a lower risk of heart disease. He says as far as recommendations for women and for men, when it comes to women, you can have one drink. When it comes to men, you can have two. But the most important part is sticking to that amount and not overdoing it. Another concern with drinking beer is for new moms who are breastfeeding. Transition to motherhood is, you know, sometimes a little bit challenging. And Dr. Paige Johnson has seen it firsthand. Mothers who want to regain their freedom and have a drink after having a child. So sometimes it can be a really long time before a mom is able to reclaim her own body and be able to have some freedom with what, you know, what she puts into it. You can actually find beer that's marketed to breastfeeding moms. I looked at the, um, the website for the breastfeeding beer and I it was a little intrigued. Dr. Johnson was on board with the low alcohol content, but when it comes to the claims that it will improve lactation supply. I don't know that I can honestly say I've read scientific studies that support that. She says if you like beer, drink it, but make sure you wait two or more hours after you drink to breastfeed. I don't see why not. Another concern for beer drinkers are some healthier than others. While that may be true, doctors still recommend sticking to your limits. You having um, five Michelob Ultra is probably not a good thing, even though your calorie intake may be equal to one or two Budweiser's. He says don't just focus on calories. Focus on avoiding binge drinking or drinking an excessive amount of alcohol in a short period of time. Another concern when it comes to drinking is for those who might be allergic. Particularly with the wheat, barley type allergies can cause um, a lot of um, immediate reactions. And certain beers are made with those allergy sufferers in mind. Yeah, this looks normal. Before. But overall, when it comes to drinking beer. So I think we can enjoy the things that we have in our community without having that become a vice and without that becoming a daily type thing. Reporting in Knoxville, Brandon Bates, WBIR 10 News. And our 10 Brews series continues all week. Tomorrow it's all about.